Hey Galaxy S25 users. If you've been following the One UI 8 beta closely, you're in for a treat. Samsung has officially rolled out the One UI 8 beta 4 update, and it's more than just your average patch. This latest build is the first beta update since the official release of One UI 8, and it brings a wave of subtle improvements, meaningful fixes, and a few unexpected surprises that could improve your overall experience. Whether you're deep into beta testing or just keeping an eye on what's next, this update is worth paying attention to. Let's start with one of the more critical additions. Samsung has introduced a new emergency update feature for its IMS, IP Multimedia Subsystem, service. While that might sound a bit technical, it essentially allows your phone to push crucial IMS service updates on the fly. If an urgent update is needed, you might now see a pop-up or notification asking for your consent to install and restart the service, ensuring your calls, texts, and other network-dependent features stay rock-solid, even in unpredictable situations. For users who rely on Samsung DeX, especially those who use it as a desktop replacement, there's a useful new improvement. Now, when you're watching videos through DeX, you'll be able to switch to full screen without any hiccups. This might sound minor, but for people using DeX in presentations or for casual media viewing, it's a smoother, more intuitive experience. Moving on to the bug fixes, Samsung has taken care of quite a few nagging issues. If you've ever encountered the Galaxy AI reply suggestions behaving oddly or not appearing at all, that's now fixed users will finally see AI suggestions working more reliably when composing messages or replying quickly. For those who use Bixby routines and trigger commands via voice, you might have experienced a lag in response times or loading delays. That's been improved as well, which should make your smart automation routines more dependable. There's also a visual fix in this update. Some users had reported a glitchy or broken appearance in the quick launch icon area on the lock screen. With Beta 4, that's been cleaned up. Icons now appear as they should, providing a more polished lock screen experience overall. One fix that stands out involves video editing in the gallery app. If you've ever used the iNavi dash cam and tried trimming or editing those clips, you may have run into issues with the editing tools misbehaving. Samsung has patched this, and now those videos should be just as easy to handle as regular media files. Another common complaint among beta users was the message, fingerprint sensor not responding, showing up on the lock screen, even when the sensor was perfectly functional. This was a frustrating bug for anyone who uses biometric security regularly. Thankfully, it's now resolved in this release. Accessibility users get a fix as well. When using TalkBack and attempting to initiate a call by swiping from the contacts list, some users faced outgoing call failures. That's now been addressed, improving usability for those who rely on screen readers or voice guidance. Camera enthusiasts will be happy to hear that Samsung has also ironed out a flickering issue that appeared when switching between the front and rear cameras. Specifically, the central vertical and horizontal level gauges, which help you align your shot, would flicker or behave unpredictably. This fix should result in a more stable and accurate camera interface. Finally, this update brings behind-the-scenes improvements to app stability. Samsung has quietly fine-tuned several stock apps, enhancing the overall smoothness of daily interactions. You might not notice these changes immediately, but they'll likely manifest in fewer app crashes, better background performance, and generally snappier responses. Altogether, One UI 8 Beta 4 feels like a refinement update, but a very important one. It's not introducing any major overhauls or flashy UI redesigns, but instead, it's doing the quiet work of patching up the system, improving stability, and addressing specific use cases that beta testers flagged in earlier versions. It's the kind of update that signals Samsung is listening closely to its testers, ironing out the, the details before the stable rollout hits a wider audience. So, if you're a Galaxy S25 user running the beta, this update is definitely worth installing not just for the fixes, but also for that peace of mind knowing that Samsung is steadily pushing toward a stable, polished One UI 8 experience based on Android 16. If you haven't jumped on the beta yet, this update might just be a reason to consider it, especially if you enjoy being on the cutting edge of what Samsung has in store.